Up to this point, we use only predefined types and our custom enum type, but C-Sharp allows us to create complex types called classes. A class defines the formal values that variables in our program might have. For example, we could create a class called person, which would have several members that can reflect the in real life characteristics. First name, last name, and a date of birth might be the properties that we want to assign to each person in our program. Besides those kind of properties, in our person class, we could also define methods, which then we could invoke on a given person. Let's add that person class to our program. I will right click on our project, add class. I will name it person. And each person will have first name as a string, last name also as a string, and date of birth as a date time. Now let's create a new person variable in our main method. To do that, we'll have to specify the type, so person. Let's call that person bill, and then we'll assign that variable to new person instance like this. Bill is equal to new person. So the bill variable that we just created is an object of type person. Many people mix the concept of object and a class, so I'll repeat myself. The person type is a class that defines the members for every instance of a person type. Object is a concrete instance of the type which was assigned using the new keyword. In our case, bill is an object of type person. Having our variable, we should be able to access the fields that we specified in the person class. So let's try to set the first name to bill. So bill.firstName is equal bill. But immediately we got this red line under first name, meaning that there's some compilation error. And if you look at it, it says that person first name is inaccessible due to its protection level. This is happening because by default all of the class members are private, meaning that they are accessible only in the class itself. If you want to access those properties outside of that class, as we did in the main method, we'll have to set the access modifier for those fields with a public keyword like this. Public string first name, public string last name, and public datetime date of birth. Now the error is gone and you can properly assign the first name property to build. However, if we don't assign the values and we try to use them, they will have the default value for a given type. For string, it is just a null value. For numeric types, it would be zero. And for datetime, it is just the 1st of January of the first year. By the way, I hope that you have noticed the first benefit of using classes, which is that having our class defined, we will not duplicate the code. If we had more than one person object in the program, they would all use the same person type.